Welcome back to the channel. So I had an interesting question slash comment of sorts this morning, which I thought might make an interesting video for you to help you understand, because I don't suppose I've ever explained this in a video, save for a live stream. But the question was, how come if I'm a barrister, none of my videos can be taken as legal advice? And there's a very simple answer to that, and it's certainly not money. So whilst I can explain the law to you on these videos, and I can explain how the law would apply in very specific situations, and I can give you examples of if this happens, then this is the law and how it would work, there is invariably a myriad of other different circumstances and particulars and events and just minor details that may very well change the nature of that advice if that were your particular situation. But because I am not sitting with you and going through any of your details, therefore I don't have the benefit of every single detail specificity of your situation and I don't have the opportunity to ask you questions. What happened with this? What happened with that? Why did you do this? What happened then? What did they say? And all the rest of it. Because I don't have that opportunity, then I cannot tailor what would be advice to you and your particular situation because I don't know what it is, obviously, because if there's thousands, hundreds of thousands of you watching these videos, then I can only give you general guidelines as to this is what happens in this situation. You can then make a determination. If you are in exactly that situation, you can decide for yourself with assistance, guidance, if you will, from my videos as to how the law might apply to you and to your situation but the responsibility remains with you. Because if you want legal advice that you can rely on, in other words, if it's wrong advice, you can sue the lawyer, quite frankly, because the lawyer will have indemnity insurance, that only comes into play if you instruct the lawyer formally, the lawyer then sits down with you, takes all of your details, specific questions are asked, and the lawyer can ascertain how the law should apply in your particular situation. But even then, it's not always clear cut. As I said in one of my recent videos, if the law was absolutely clear cut every time and parties complied with that law and just paid out if the law was clear, then there wouldn't be a need to go to court. There are two reasons to go to court. One is where a party just flat out refuses to pay money over or to accept liability or in a criminal case to plead guilty. And two, where the law is not quite so clear. So if you've got two competing businesses that have a very slightly different interpretation as to what the contract actually meant and neither party can agree, then it's time for third party intervention, i.e. the court. And a judge will decide and interpret the definition of that contractual term. And it's usually what the parties intended. What would the parties have intended in the first place? The court is going to be slow to intervene if something is clear, but the court will say what the interpretation should be, whether it's fair, whether it's been broken and whose liability it is and so on. So as you can see, any one different given set of facts can have a different outcome and different advice would be given to each client in that situation. And sometimes it's given as advice and sometimes it's given as an opinion. Now they are very similar in nature, an advice and opinion. Advice is typically this is the law, this is how the law applies to your situation and an opinion, although they are sometimes used interchangeably, an opinion is the barrister's opinion on how the law applies in that situation. So either way, if you are embarking on any kind of legal claim, you are very well advised to have advice at the earliest opportunity and take that advice on your situation so that you don't spend hundreds or even thousands and tens of thousands of pounds on fees fighting the claim that you actually didn't have a claim for in the first place. So I hope that helps you to understand how my videos of guidance differ from going to a lawyer and sitting down and having formal advice. Whilst I certainly hope my videos help and guide you in situations where you may not want to spend money on lawyers and you just want an idea of how the law applies generally and in various situations so that you can then try to apply it for yourself. So please give the video a like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and as always thank you for watching.